Hey everybody, this is Failed Hero number one, and no, I do not want to log out. Well, we are going to be playing some Guild Wars 2, starting from the beginning. And we're going to show you character creation, uh, the starting areas, you know, the tutorial, and the race's original zone. And then we'll probably just focus on the story quests for a while. So I already have a human guardian who's close to level 80, and I felt it was time to start on a second class. I do have a Silvari Warrior who is level 20, but I'm not really digging the look or feel of how that's all working together. So I decided to do a new warrior, and uh, I like the Greatsword, and I'll probably go Greatsword Rival. But I had to choose between the Char, which is like a very, it's the cat race that's very, you know, war oriented, or the Norn, which is the equivalent of Vikings or Celtic Warriors. There's some overlap between the two. Um, in this game of Guild Wars 2. Um, so I decided to go with Norn. I'm gonna go male. And we get to look at this and it tells you a little about it, each class. There's Ranger, Elementalist, Necromancer, Thief. The Thief looks really cool in my opinion. Mesmer, Engineer, Guardian. Now you look at the Guardian, he's wearing tier 3 cultural heavy armor. It's important to remember that this is what it looks like. Not necessarily the color because you can pick your own dice but that's what it looks like. And then we have the warrior. Look at that. It's monstrous. So we're gonna be a tall Norn. Super tall. Physique wise we're gonna go kind of smaller but still big guy. You can go like this and it's like ah, but we're not gonna do that. Skin color's fine. You can hit hide armor and you can actually change the lighting to see what he looks like at night. But we're just gonna go like this. Um, and then tattoos, which is why we have to hide the armor. Now these are all very much tribal tattoos, which in real life you might make fun of somebody for having, but that's not what we're doing here. This is Guild Wars 2, it's fine. What are we gonna go with? See these are like more kind of Celtic in my opinion. Those are okay, that's cool. The pure blue, like over the face and stuff, is more like Germanic tribesmen, if I remember correctly. They brought about the fall of Rome, if anyone cares. But we're gonna go with... See, like, that's like Eastern Island, kind of, almost, makes with Celtic. Some, that's actually not too bad. I think I'm gonna go with maybe that? No. We're gonna try to go through this quickly, folks. Gonna have to have tattoos. How about. Well, let's just see what that looks like after we mess with the head option. We're gonna go for a younger look. That's my cell phone going off. Make some grizzle. Hairstyle, we're gonna go with. There's all different types of stuff, as you can see. That one's not too bad. Um, we're gonna go with Rusty Brown, so we'll see what it looks like. I like this one. We're gonna go with. Like that. So let's go like that. Yeah, that's. That's not right. Tattoo Rice. Let's go like that. Head options, facial hair. Face details, um, eye color, let's go with more of a brown, let's go with jaw, head width, let's make it a little smaller, head width, let's make it a little bigger, jaw width, let's make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Maybe we should add a beard, like that. Face. Go more pensive, that's... Oh, like that. That looks pretty good, actually. What does it look like without the beard? The facial hair in this game looks really weird, in my opinion. Um, clean shaven, maybe? Uh, can I deal with the beard? Sometimes, the other issue is sometimes the Norn hair and beards, they actually go through the helm, so you have to keep that in mind. 
Um, I think I'm gonna go no facial hair. It's fine. Um, we got that. He looks like that. Hey, look at that, everybody. So we're gonna go Ebony, Ebony, and then Autumn or Salmon, Autumn. So once again, Ebony, Ebony, Autumn. Ebony, Ebony. For the helm. We're not gonna actually have the helm. Because whatever you pick starting out, actually, it's really hard to find later on. I think it's actually virtually impossible. So here we're gonna look through some stuff that really defines our characters. For me, I'm going with no home, no helm. So uh, we hit that. We get to go back now. And we go down to armor dies, and we can actually fix the shoulders. Or we'll show you in a minute how you can do that in game. So we're going with uh, I wear no helm because a true a true warrior on the battlefield doesn't need one. Um, because this I am respected and given proper respect. These questions give you options in game regarding how you interact with people. So remember that. So I'm gonna go with dignified because I'm, I'm a serious and thoughtful person. Um, the most important quality is that I have the necessary strength to defeat ancient foes. Right? We're trying to kill dragons here. At a recent celebratory mood held in Holbrook. I, now these questions right here, these are really directly, they directly influence your story as you play the game. So I'm gonna go with, I blacked out. Now, I got into a fight or I lost an heirloom is also cool, but I want to know what happens after I black out, personally. So these are the spirits in the Norn culture. There's four guardian spirits that led them out of the north south. And so you have the bear, which is the strongest, the snow leopard, which is probably the most stealthy. If you were a thief, Norn, you would go with that. I'm going to go with wolf because it's all about working in numbers and stuff and you know, being loyal to one another. And then you have the raven, which is coming. What was it? Hey! I'm recording. And so, that's all done. So we're gonna go with Atherin Karn as the name. It is not taken. I don't think. Let's see. I held it by creating a new character. The dog that's ground and another dog, which is uncalled for. And I'll be quiet for this cutscene. So you all can enjoy it. I am Norn, hunter of the wild, born of the free and rugged Shiver Peak Mountains. In the far north, my people fought our greatest enemy, Jormath, a dragon of frost and snow. The dragon broke our pride, but it did not break our spirit. In our last hour, we heard the voices of four of the spirits of the wild, Bear, Raven, Snow Leopard, Wolf. They called us south, away from certain annihilation. We founded the Great Lodge of Holbrek and claimed new hunting grounds. Some say we should not fight Jormag. I say the greatest risk is to wager nothing at all. One day a hero will lead us home, and we will break the dragon's icy grip. I was born in the fire of combat. My spirit has been forged and tempered like steel. Like my ancestors before me, I seek glory. One day, I will take my place among the heroes of the Norn. My strength is a gift from the spirits of the wild. With it, I can hold back the tide. I can move mountains. I can overcome anything that stands in my way. I am still untested, but already my deeds have earned me friendship and great respect. Each year, a great hunt is called in Holbrek. Only the best among us are invited to participate. I shall use my might to collect trophies that prove my worth then drink and boast of my victories. I accept this challenge. I relish it. Come, danger. Come, adventure. In the lodges and halls of my people, my strength will make me immortal. 
This is my story. And there you go. Now you can see the art for this game. It's very nice. This is a loading screen. Of course it has some art on it. It's pretty awesome, I think. Uh, I should say this, that the Norn, their, their armor is slightly different than everyone else's. Especially on the character models of their women. So if you don't necessarily think that uh, the lack of clothing on women characters are, you know, that's the right way to go. You should probably stay away from women characters altogether in this MMO. But the Norn women in particular are pretty bad. You could always go Char or Zura, but yeah, or Silvari. But yeah, we're playing Norn. This is taking forever. My internet is not doing well today. But the tutorial itself should only take a couple of minutes. Uh, you'll get to see what quests are like, just starting out, how they're different and yet somehow the same to what we've seen before in games. And also just, you know, how interactive everything is. Oh, there we go. Hey, there's some other people in the starting area, which is cool. Um, for some reason, whenever I load in to this place, there's no sound when I first load in. Uh, I actually tried to do this earlier. You can see how big this character is, too. Look at him. He is somewhat huge, especially... the They're like linebackers, pretty much. As you can see, they're talking to us, they call us over, and we're gonna get a short little cutscene. That may or may not have sound. I don't know. It's obviously glitching pretty hard right now. Hey! I'm not doing it to you, I'm doing it to you. Those are the dogs barking because they're annoying. I just pushed her over and she fell over. Hail, hero! Are you here to take part in this year's great hunt? Of course I am. Just tell me what needs to be done and stand clear. Hunt down the wildest animals you can find and take trophies from your kills. Present only the finest to Ido the Tanner to prove your worth. Whoever has the best trophy and whose bravery is the greatest will be invited to join the Great Hunt. Newt Whitebear has said this scene's event will be one of the most dangerous, so be ready. I've even heard the renowned Air Stigulkin might attend. I look forward to impressing them both after I've earned my place in the hunt. Now each, you know, race has one or two heroes uh, in the guild known as Divinity's Reach, and that's, you know, the guild that we thought would probably save us from the dragons at that time, and they've faltered, they've all kind of parted ways. And it's put the world in danger, so Erstagalkin was one of them, uh, and she's one of the heroes in the game that you interact with. See, for this particular quest, I can kill one of three or... Yeah, three animals. This uh, the Alpha Minotaur is one of them, as you can see down here. I only have one attack starting out with my sword, and I hate the one-handed sword, but we got it. And as I fight, I unlock new abilities. The things die. Oh, got that one too fast for them. So after that, we get to run back, and you'll see here that it points to where it is with this little star thing. And uh, if you hit maps, it's also important to note that you can shift and drag your mouse uh, after left clicking and you can draw on it. So that's always awesome. Up, and I'm running way out of control. There are also a lot of interactive <laughs> conversation. Hail Hunter. That's the dog. I'm the local worker. leather worker. Ido's the name. Show me your kills. And I'll make them into trophies you'll be proud to show at the moot. Pricking, singing, and boasting. I love a good old-fashioned moot. They're arguing over food. Others save their parties for holidays, but I say every day a lives worth celebrating. Hey, Newt, look at this impressive trophy. Worthy of the great hunt, I'd say. Indeed. You are skilled enough to defeat your prey, and wise enough to revere their spirits. You are worthy to join in this year's great hunt. By my own hand, I've brought the mighty worm as Sormir. He waits above in the plateau for one such as you to challenge him. 
The great heir Stegalkin watches over him now, waiting for the hunt to commence. When it is time, you and the others will go to the high ground, over the valley. There you will face Isormir, and claim victory, if you can. I can, and I will. This is where my legend begins. So the Norn are all about, like, becoming heroes, pretty much. Uh, you know, going on to Asgard, though they don't really say that. You know, fighting whatever happens in the afterlife. We're going to see a boss fight in a minute. As you can see down here, this is the heal I start out with. It's fine, it's okay. I'll probably grab something later. There's some other stuff I'd rather have. And we're going up here. May Snow Leopard grant you swiftness and grace. That's Air Stagalkin. May Snow Leopard grant you swiftness and grace. Walk with the pack. In the eyes of wolves, we are all brothers and sisters. The shamans, uh, I think they give you buffs or something in the Norn area. I haven't played it yet. Up here, we already have somebody killing things, so we're gonna join them. And uh, we're gonna see team play, as long as I don't lie too badly. And uh, I'm gonna also mention that if you have been playing Guild Wars already, um, the Dorn, while being bigger, don't necessarily jump higher. Oh, and I miss. So I've been playing a human, so yeah, that was awesome, that lag. It happens quite a bit for me, but we are on peak times right now. This is the first boss we'll fight. Um, as you see, he does stuff. I am not gonna dodge this. Oh, I dodged it. Let's use that. Flurry. This is gonna go by really fast. Oh, nope, didn't dodge fast enough. It's really like that. Let's just show off what it does. That was a fast boss fight. What a hunt! I heard about your victory. Very impressive. Thank you. It was a hard-fought battle. And I'm proud of my part in it. An excellent beginning to your legend, friend. You know, a lot of folks around here have problems that need solving. A slayer like you could be a big help. Putting your skills to work sharpens them, and helping others wouldn't hurt your reputation either. Think of the glory. I will seek out these problems and solve them. Then we shall see how my legend grows. And that is the, the tutorial area, and as you can see, I have the choice between a Warhorn and a Buckler. I'm gonna go with Warhorn, just because there's things I want. I've leveled up to level 2. Go in here, you equip the Warhorn, right? And as you look, you see that I have two new abilities, but they're locked, so I actually have to go kill things with this sword to unlock them. Now, I'm gonna go with great sword most likely, and Rifle, but as I was talking about, Jump Height, Humans, everything jumps the same height, but your character models are different heights. You need to remember that when you play this game, because it's very hard to switch over from, say, an Azura to a Norn, because you would think that they jump different heights because of the size difference, but they don't. And I'm not sure why that is, but that's just how it goes. Also, let's talk about the in-game store really fast. Up here you can see the Black Lion, the Black Lion Trading Company. Now, let's say you don't want to look like this, and you have either quite a bit of money uh, in real life, or you already have an 80 and you've got your legendary and, you know, tier 3 armor. You can come in here, and they have different skins for your armor that you can transmute onto your, onto your gear, pretty much. And I'll show you how to do that later. I'm probably not going to buy this. But I think you can look like this instead of what I currently look like. 
So just keep in mind, if you don't want to look just normal and ordinary, and you want to look different, there's a way for you to stand out later, like as you play, you just have to get 100% clear, have transmutation zones from other characters as well, to patch these on to other pieces of armor. Uh, that's all we're going to be doing today, thank you for watching. Um, I'm much better at Guild Wars 2 than I am at, say, The Secret World. That game takes a lot more thought than I'm used to in anything I've played MMO-wise before. But thank you for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, dislike, comment, criticize, hate on me, whatever. I will take whatever you got. And thank you. Have a good one. Bye.